Hey, I'm Barry and this is Jamie. Now, two fine philosophers once said, Hakuna Matata. It means no worries for the rest of your days. Yeah, what is done is done. Unless you screwed up a cultural dish so badly that it really actually does need to be redone. Like today. Ready? Right. Yeah, let's do it. Not only is this oh from, I my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea what <laughs> era this is from. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. <laughs> Today we're recreating a dish from six years ago. This is our chicken pad thai recipe and Jamie and I are going to be making the original version and Ben and James, the chefs, will be doing their thing and hopefully improving it tenfold. Add our noodles into the water to heat through. They're, they're already cooked. This was always your way of just stopping from Jamie from talking. Yeah. Just keep going, just keep going. Talking. Give no, them no type of questions. I like how you said these are straight to wok noodles and then you put them in boiling water. <laughs> That's good, instead of the wok. <laughs> Less than five minutes, onto the plate, Again, boom. So a wedge of lime, and there we go. Our version, such a quick dish from Thailand. It's our Pad Thai noodles, sorted. I think just between you and I, we could do a better version than that. Why, why would you say that? So you're saying that you are better than Chef Ben six years ago? Mm -hmm. Yes, you are. Yeah, that's why not? I'm going to have I think that's what you just said. Yeah. We're going to be comparing the two dishes at the end to see how far we've come in those six years. I think it's important to point out that this hasn't been planned. This is a recipe lab, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. Step one, chicken. We're using breast. And we're going to marinate it in a lovely chilli and soy fish sauce and peanut oil marinade. Oh, I didn't weigh any of that out. Just follow the instructions. <laughs> I reckon we could do this better than Ben could. Yeah, <laughs> Shut up! We are not marinating our chicken. We are just cutting it into very thin strips so it cooks just as quickly as the noodles. But we are also adding more protein. Tofu. Firm tofu. Yummy. <laughs> the reason being, in terms of improving, and I say improving in inverted commas, we're going for a lot of the comments that were underneath the video and a more authentic version, and tofu is so commonly put in That's there. Dangerous. That, that, that is dangerous. That is dangerous. Even I'm worried about that now. <laughs> Very similar ingredients to the original marinade, except we're adding more protein, albeit fermented, in the form of shrimp paste. Tofu in this. Oh my goodness, it's, oh, that is awful. <laughs> We are going to make a pad thai sauce and it's going to have fish sauce in it, soy sauce, palm sugar and tamarind. We're going to cook our chicken in a hot wok for a few minutes to colour and then we're going to add in the sugar, the tamarind paste, the bean sprouts and the spring onions for a few more minutes. In the original recipe they used spring onions but a lot of the comments under the original recipe actually said that a proper pad thai uses garlic chives and so we have sourced some. The tops are going to go in and the bottoms are saved for garnish. Salad! <laughs> you missed, you missed <laughs> the massive rock! Would you like to learn about sweet radish? I had never, what are you doing? <laughs> Can you just eat it? Uh, yeah, I guess so. That's a really big radish compared to the radishes we have. So this is pickled diocon radish, which is then okay. dehydrated. And I've never tried it, I've never heard of it, but when I started looking at Pad Thai for this, this came up a lot. Next, noodles. Oh look, there's a hob left on. Shut up! I wonder who did that. Oh look, there's another <laughs> hob left on. I wonder who did that. How are you screwing this up? What are you doing? They're, they're stuck. Cook the noodles according to the packet instruction. What the packet instruction said was put them straight into the wok. No need for water. <laughs> We've got to follow the recipe, James. Our noodles are rice noodles and we're simply going to submerge them in boiling water out of the kettle for a few minutes until they soften. They'll cook That's through in the yeah, wok. like 10 minutes. 10 minutes in the water and straight in the wok. I am roasting our peanuts because we don't already have roasted peanuts. No, no, you do. They are roasted. They, they are, are roasted, roasted peanuts. You're just You're thinking toasting toasted. them to give them a bit more of a colour. In the original, the peanuts were just toasted in a dry pan. We're going to do similar, but in peanut oil, so they get a really nice golden colour all over. This is the last thing that we're going to add that's different. When James went to the grocery store, he came back with shrimp paste and dried shrimp, because we weren't sure which we were going to use. 
we're going to use both. The last thing we're changing with ours is the speed at which we cook it. So we've got an induction hob for more heat, we're going to get the wok really, really hot, we've got everything ready in small bowls ready to go in, and we're going to cook it as quick and as fast as we can. Everything is basically done, all we've got to do is stir everything through and serve up. We've just we're just having a little debate on how we want to serve it up because in the video and in the picture we served it up on a plate but in the description of the recipe it says put in bowls. I'm going to get a bowl. Once the chicken's almost cooked in with a little bit of garlic, too early and it'll burn. Going in relatively early so that it cooks out the shrimp. Radish the same. The tofu doesn't need cooking, it just needs warming through. Chives bean sprouts and peanuts. It all kind of happens last minute, but that's our 2018 version. And that's our version done. On that last one, there was like a twist of Was the, there? Yeah, twist of the tongs. Yeah, that was it. That was exactly it. <laughs> and then a bend portion of lime wedge, right? Yeah. yeah. Half a lime. <laughs> I say that's bang on. Should we have a taste of 2012? That tastes amazing. I'd be happy with that. It's got all the right flavours. You've got, you've got like the tamarind, you can really mm. taste the tamarind, you can get a bit of fish sauce. You still get the umami mm. from the fermented fish sauce. Mm -hmm. It's salty, it's tangy, it's good. That's more tangy though, than I expected. Mm. Probably because mm. the amount of lime put into it, but. And actually, the raw spring onion on top mm -hmm. gives it a kind of a crunch, like the bean sprout, and you get a bit of that onion kick as well. Right, next one. Yes. Oh, I can smell it. I can mm -hmm. actually mm -hmm. smell it already. Dive straight into some. Tofu. We're eating the same dish. <laughs> and yet, and you're gonna hate this because we're gonna talk in rounded terms and not be able to pinpoint anything. I couldn't tell you what one thing is different about that, but if any one of those elements was missing, it wouldn't be quite right. But the preserved radish mm. just gives such a kick that I, I didn't even know it went into Pad Thai, but now yeah. when I taste it, it tastes like Pad Thai. That is worlds away oh. from our one. And worlds te away. textures again. You've got the kind of chew of noodle. You've got the bounce of tofu. The chicken is much smaller and cut, so it kind of almost just dissipates. And we've gone a bit heavier on the peanuts, I would say, and they're toasted a bit more. So you've just got all of the textures as well as that rounded flavour. Biggest difference, I want to eat that slowly. Mm. That I want to shove in my gob, fill me up, boom, get out oh on the town. This one, out on the town. Said, said, said my granddad. <laughs> but it's like that one, every, every time I go in for another bite, I'm finding something else about it. Mm. I think the difference is from when we published that, great. When we actually read through the 500 odd comments over multiple years, you guys know better than us, which is why we want you to keep commenting. Tell us what we still haven't done right. Please comment below. There's going to be lots of comments. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so proud of it though. People of Thailand and all who are knowledgeable in Thai food, how did we do? Did, did, we, did we do any better? Please comment down below, let us know. If you like us revisiting these old videos, give the video a like, let us know. For those of you who are part of the Sorted Club, then we have an announcement for you. Your book is nearly ready. Bucket list. We've just finished it and it's going to print. Bucket list. Yes, bucket list. The book which is full of recipes that you have to try before you die. That's the one. Club members, that book is coming to you very, very soon. And if you're not part of the club, what are you waiting for? All the information, all the details that you need to know, downstairs. I think that's everything, apart from make sure you click that bell and get notified every time we upload a video. Every Wednesday, every Sunday, 4pm. Goodbye. Come on, you know the deal by now. Goodbye. As we mentioned, Sorted is just run by a group of friends, so if you like what we're doing, then there are loads of ways you can support us and get more involved. Everything you need to know is linked below. Thanks and hope to see you in a few days. What's that? <laughs> oh, that was the water that was just in there. You're making me sniff plant water. <laughs>